Hello, and welcome to the Getting Started with Fuse on OpenShift tutorial. Today, I will take you through installing the cartridge on OpenShift Online and signing in to the Fuse Management Console. So let's get started. First, what you want to do is log in uh, or sign up to OpenShift Online. I've already logged in, so I'm going to click on My Apps. And here I am in the sign-in page. I'm going to sign in with my account credentials. And this brings me to the Applications tab on OpenShift Online. And you can see here that I have no applications currently running. So to begin, I'm going to create my applications. I click on this link, and that takes me to the application start page. Now I'm going to search for Fuse, and it brings the JBoss Fuse 6.1 Quick Start to the fore. And I'm going to click on that, and that brings me to the second step in the configure the application. So I need to give it a name, and I'm going to use Test Fuse, creative as that is. If you look down here, I'm running in a small gear. You can choose the gear size. It will run a little bit slow in a small gear, perfectly fine in a medium gear. You can set the scaling to no scaling for now and hit Create an Application. Then we get to the Next Steps tab on Getting Started. and We don't need to make any changes now, so I'm going to hit Not Now. And that brings me to a very important section. This is the Applications tab, so you see that the application has started. Uh, there's also some information. You only see this information one time, so it's very important that you take down some of this information. This is generated by the cartridge as it starts up, and it gives you a username and password. And you see that down here where it says admin under console user, and console password is an auto-generated password. Copy that and paste it somewhere or write it down. That's going to be your login to the management console. So now I click on the application URL, and that takes me to the Fuse Management Console login screen. Here we are. I entered the username of admin, and then I paste in my password that I'd copied. And since I don't want to, have to do that again, I want, I'm going to check Remember Me and log in. And now I'm brought to the welcome page of the Red Hat JBoss Fuse Management Console. Since I don't need to see that again, I'm going to click Don't Show That to Me Again. So that brings me to the runtime area and the container page. And what that shows is a list of the active containers. And a container is something that holds a Fuse application. In this case, the test Fuse application that's running is actually the management console. Now I'll take a quick look around the user menu. You have your settings. I'm logged in as admin. It's got my preferences. I can log out. And over here, I have the fabric perspective and the container perspective. This allows me to go in and look at what's going on in my application that's running. So this, for instance, takes me directly to the log page of the Fuse management console. You can see some of the log activity there. I'm going to move back to the Fabric perspective now to continue our quick look around. So I'm going to click on Dashboard, and in the Dashboard area, I have graphs of various performance information. Now I'm going to take you to the Wiki, so I click on the Wiki, and that takes me to the Wiki. So this brings me to all of the code assets that are running in my instance of Fuse Management Console. Here we've preloaded it with some quick starts examples on how to get started using JBoss and JBoss AMQ and other products, and I encourage you to explore this later. In another Getting Started tutorial, we'll show you how to use one of these profiles to build a simple Twitter connection. For now, let's go back to the runtime area and see our running containers. If I want to see what's happening in a container, I can click on that container, and it gives me information about that container, the version, its status, type, so that's how you install Fuse on OpenShift and a little bit of information about the Fuse Management Console and getting around. Thank you very much and I hope you check out our other tutorials.